Next, I'm going to discuss about the trial method of this program. So if you debug the code, control comes to main function. Here after the add coincide. So add here, I've taken four integer variable. First is uh, i. Next, n. Next, a double r. And next variable, log. So I have given size of a double or 155. So maximum you can enter 155 elements into the array. If you want more, then here that increase the size. And here after control comes to print a function. So whatever you double code that display into the output screen and whatever I'm going to enter, so that received by n. So I'm going to enter n value 5. Here percent D because n is integer time. So if you take float, then here you have to write percent f. Now control comes to this point. So this display into the output screen. Next slash n, then cursor comes to the new line. Here i value start from zero. So check the condition. Zero less than n value five. Zero less than five condition is to a scanner function. Then you have to enter a double or zero percent new element. So here, this is array. So this is a zero index. So zero position, I'm going to enter nine. Here after that, go up, increase the value of i. So i is now one. Check the condition, one less than five, condition is two. So that coincides so right here, a double or one position, let's enter element. So one position, I'm going to enter six. Here after i increase, so i is not 2. Or check the condition, 2 less than 5, condition is 2, so that coincides right here. Let's enter a or 2 position new element. So this is a 2 index. I am going to enter 5. And here after that go up, increase the value of i. So i is not 4, or oh sorry, 3 or 2 to 3 and or check the condition 3 less than 5 condition is 2 so that coincides right here let's enter a double of 3 position new element so I'm going to enter 3 position or 2 here after I increase so I is now 4 or check the condition 4 less than 5 condition is 2 so that coincides right here let's enter a double of 4 position new element so this is a 4 index Four position I'm going to enter eleven. Here after I is now five. Or check the condition five less than five. Condition is not true. Now control comes to this point. Printer functions whatever you double code that display into the output screen. Enter number to search slash and then cursor comes to the new line. And here after whatever I'm going to enter so that received by LOC. So I'm going to search uh, five. So right here. I'm going to enter 5. So that received by LOC. Now control comes to this point. Here I value start from 0 again. Or check the condition 0 less than n value 5. Condition is true. So that coincides. So enter if a double or 0 position equal to log. So 0 position 9 is there. 9 double equal to 5. Condition is not true. So that not coincide. And here after that go up and increase the value of i. So i is now. 1 or check the condition 1 less than 5 condition is true so that coincides so at here 8 of 1 position 8 double equal to log so 1 position is 6 is there or 6 double equal to 5 condition is not true so that not coincide here after that co op increase the value of i so i is 2 now check the condition 2 less than n value 5 condition is true so that coincide if 8 over or 2 double equal to log so 2 position is 5 log, log value also 5 so 5 equal to 5 condition is true so that coincide here printer function so percent d so that for loc and this percent d this for i and percent d i am using because uh, loc and i both are integer time so at here the output come loc value 5 is percent at location i plus 1 so i value is now 2, 2 plus 1, 3. So 5 is percent at 3. And here after break a statement comes. So 
that terminate the for loop. Now control comes to this point. So here yeah, if i double equal to n, so i value is now here yeah, two. Two double equal to five. Condition is not true. So that not true. Right. So right here the output come three. Oh sorry, five is present at three. Suppose if I enter at your uh, non matching record like uh, 9, 6. So at here I'm going to enter non matching 3 value of LOC. So what happened? I value start from 0. Check the condition 0 less than n value 5. Condition is true. So at here 8 or 0 position double equal to lock. So 9 double equal to 3. Condition is not true, not coincide. Hereafter I increase so I is now 1. 1 less than 5. Condition is true. So that Go inside here. Yeah. It will out one position double equal to log. So one position six equal to three. Condition is not true. Again, I increase. So I is not two. Or check the condition two less than five. Condition is true. So that go inside. So at here. Yeah. It will out two position double equal to three. So log value is three. So this is not true. Here after I increase. So I is not three. So three position two is there. Two double equal to three. Condition is not true. So not coincide here after I increase so I is now 4. So 4 position is or uh, 11 is there. So 11 double equal to 3. Condition is not true, not coincide. Here after I is now 5. So 5 like 5 less than 5. Condition is not true. So not coincide. Here after control comes to this point. So at at here I double equal to 3. So I value is now uh, 5. And n value also 5. So i value reach uh, till 5 and n value i enter 5. So 5 equal to 5, condition is true. So that coincide. So at here i enter 3. So this display into the output scheme 3 not in the array. And next cursor comes to the new array. So this is the drain method of this program. So I hope guys you understand. So thanks for watching. See you next week.